Hello everyone, Bob Silent here. Um, I'm also known as uh, Dash the DB or Tyranno Sapiens Rex on Explorers Unlimited. Um, I'm going to do a walkthrough of my favorite role playing site. Now, most people think role-playing and they're like, ooh, kinky bedroom stuff. No, I'm talking like tabletop role-playing games played online. In this case, it's not Dungeons and Dragons, which is, of course, everyone's most popular one. This is a... It's been around for a while, but it's not as popular as D&D. It's called Rifts. Um, there's a whole system of games, the pet... Palladium Megaversal system. Um, this is one of several sites where you can play such games online. This is my favorite one. This is Explorers Unlimited. And this is a walkthrough. This is the front page. If you put in ExplorersUnlimited.com, you will come right here. Then you are supposed to click right here on the newcomers welcome thread welcome explorers unlimited is more than just another play by post website it's a community of gamers who are all avid fans of palladium books mini games and role playing games of all types palladium books that's the company that makes riffs their website's palladiumbooks.com. We'll take a quick look. They, of course, create the game that they play on Explorers Unlimited, so they deserve a little bit of a plug as well. They put out some, some weird stuff in their books, like some cool cool artwork. I think this is from the new uh, new Russian book. Anyway, they are available at palladiumbooks.com. You can check them out whenever you'd like. More importantly, we're going through the rest of the site. This is a quick guide to help players through the create character creation process on EU. It'll also go through the house rules and the explorer point system. I'll start with the newcomers things here. Augur explains to you to go look through the rest of this table of contents here. He went through the trouble of making it for you. Take a look at it. It's important. Do your research. Contact us. You can contact me here in the comments. You can do whatever you like. Um, there's several hangout groups for, for the site. Um, we have feedback and reviews. Ugh. I think this should really link to... Yeah, it doesn't. That's a bad link, Augur. You should probably fix that to go to our link on uh, the Megaverse Palladium forums where you have us commenting on reviews publicly. You have four weeks from the date you register your account to complete the character creation process. After four weeks, you'll get a warning. After another week, your account will be deleted. Instant messenger services or tools for the character creation process, as the person reviewing your character will want to contact you frequently. So use Hangouts. It's not really hard. You can use it through a web browser. You probably already have an account if you use YouTube or any of Google's other services already. Um,
you can contact them through private messages on the site if you really don't want to use Hangouts, but that's what they're using these days. Registering an account. When you are setting up an account on Explorers Unlimited, please remember these simple rules. All accounts must be registered with your character's name. No leet speak or other nonsensical account names will be kept, so use a name. Don't use your name. Not the one your mama gave you. You can either use like a common nickname, check to make sure it's not already in use, or the, a fictional character name that you invented. Your account name should be the same that which your character will use in conversation with other players on site. After you register your account, you should receive an email which will activate the account. Now, you see, it's kind of backwards because they want you to name your character before you know what your character is going to be. Um, see, this still says the architect, but you're, I'm pretty sure you're still back going to contacting Augur directly instead of the architect. Um, and... You can answer questions like, which archetype are you thinking of playing? You can play like, magic users, psychics, soldiers, you know, like, you can use, play brain trusts, you can play weird races, you can play all sorts of weird stuff. Um, basically, Rifts is a kitchen sink setting. You can play a, like, superhero type character, a robot pilot, you can play a wizard. Um, I mean, there are rules for it and they're gonna want you to buy the books to really understand everything, but odds are Augur will walk you through character creation just enough for you to make a character out of the Rift's main book before you even have it. Just, I would indicate that you have absolutely no knowledge of the setting before you would do so. Um, important character creation rules. All characters start at experience level 3. You get paid in the meta currency, which I will cover later, after you, uh, if you choose to be lower level. You can't be a bad guy. Like, you cannot be a miscreant or diabolic character, which are basically, like, neutral evil or chaotic evil in the the D and D style alignment uh, grid. Um, you can be a baron, which is kind of like lawful evil. You can be like a blackguard paladin-y type, um, somebody with a code of honor. But that code of honor can be pretty brutal. That's okay. I'm a game. Uh, all characters start with an insanity, unless you do really well on your dice rolls. Character origins and their impact. You can play characters from different... yeah, there's a list. I'll get to that in a moment as well. Advice on character creation from EU players. This you should read in detail. Very important here. Stats. Yeah. One, don't make assumptions. Two, don't assume authority. Three, don't assume you're entitled to anything, including respect. Everything, including respect, is earned on this site. That's important to remember, folks. You're not entitled here. Four, don't be a jerk. I have a difficult time with that one. A little bit, sometimes. 
Five, persuasive logical arguments work best. Emotional arguments are the least effective. Six, do your own research. If you are unsure about something, spend some time searching for the answer yourself. If there's no cana cananaical answer or the answer is ambiguous, or if the issue seems entirely subjective, then seek counsel from a veteran player, AGM, GM, or auger. We are here to help, but do not do your home, but not to do your homework. Recognize, as Augur does, that no single person has all the answers, and a GM's knowledge and decisions are imperfect. When you are in error or have made a bad choice, own that error. We respect intellectual honesty far more than perfection. Covering rolling stats. And the first thing to do is to create a post with the character sheet template. The next thing to do is create a post for rolling dice. Dice rolling is a feature built into the site and uses bulletin board tags right here. You put those and then you write your dice in the middle of it and you have dice come out. For standard characters, the dice roll will be the following, 4d6. This is a really bad roll. This would be a roll of 8. Um, because it's 3d6 drop the lowest, right? EU standard is to roll one additional dice than is stated for the attribute and drop the lowest dice roll result. Attributes are required to be rolled, but players assign those rolls at their discretion if their character is human or has flight da flat die rolls for all attributes. The compensatory rule for low attributes is excluded, but the penalties are included. The exploding die attribute rule applies only to human characters, maxes out at 30, and must be done via subsequent dice roller results. Please note the explicit limitations to attributes is noted in page 284 of Rift's Ultimate Edition. This applies to site-wide all attributes. Details. See this in blue. For a nominal donation to help support the site, Augur will correct all of your mistakes for you, thus speeding up approval time considerably. That says... Go to Patreon.com and give Augur a $1 donation for a month when you set up your account, and he'll do it all for you, pretty much. Make sure when you... Yeah, whoever is reviewing your character is likely to mark it up. Make sure when you create your character to go through it with a fine-tooth comb. If you are having trouble with BBC code, get some help. Your reviewer is looking for inconsistencies, misspellings, and formatting errors in your character sheet. As that all says, for a nominal donation, Augur will correct all of your mistakes for you. So, if you... If you're good with spelling and grammar, you're going to have to learn to use a spell checker to really stay on this site long term anyway. But if you want to get a character and you don't want any hurdles, support Augur on Patreon and he will do the hard think brain work for you at the beginning and let you sink or swim later on your own. Helpful tips. Use a space after every form of punctuation. Don't use feet or inches. Use those. He uses customary English weights and measurements, not the metric system. When in doubt, refer to Augur's own character sheet as an example. This is Jezebel. I, uh... I'm in a group with Jezebel. My oldest character on site is the co-leader of the Girls of Murktown. Um, 
She's broken. Really, she is. He's... All kinds of super abilities. But it shows you how it they want it set up. This is all the character sheet. Here at the beginning you show the player's name. Right. Uh, you, you put in contact information. This isn't actually an email address. This is his how to find him on Hangouts, right? Um, the character's name, alias, goes through low XP level experience points. Um, her stuff here doesn't exactly match up to, uh, to the basic sheet because she is an alien character that is a conversion character. So she has the eight attributes. Now this is how many dice will use you would do to, to create a character. Eight, that's an IQ, intelligence quotient, ME, mental endurance, MA, mental affinity, PS, physical strength, PP, physical prowess, PE, physical endurance, PB, physical beauty, and speed. Right? This is what you need to roll, really, at first, to get your character started. You'll also need to roll, like, a D6 for hit points, and... Probably Augur will tell you if you pay him to, or you'll have to look it up otherwise, how much SDC you should roll. This is your secondary stats. You get natural abilities from your stuff. Some characters will end up with superpowers, not all. Probably starting out as a normal human character, you won't for your first character. You'll get OCC skills most of the time. This is again a conversion character and Augur should probably use a better example. But you get OCC skills, you get um, OCC related skills, and you get secondary skills. Now, conversion characters also get conversion skills and characters from Heroes Unlimited also get basic skills. This is this is a good example if you wanted to get a character made for HU2 Galactic for example, not for rifts. Um, combat data, um, this is based on all information out of the rifts, main, uh, rifts Ultimate Edition book. She has a whole bunch of, ro she, she pilots robots in addition to having superpowers and she's got, like, she's good with a lot of weapons she has all kinds of cool stuff. She's rich. Richer than my character, and my character is pretty well off. This character has a giant robot vehicle. This thing is. What is it? 24 feet tall. You get a background story, and then that's all you have in your character starting out. And then. There's various other information and details on here that were added afterwards. The unified skill list here will help you fill out your skills. Um, Basically, you, when you submit your character, you're going to end up helping build out your stat block and information. There are basic play-by-post rules.
Okay, I will save the rest of this for another episode.